So this is our Volkswagen T4. We've had her two and a half years. Um, she's now been replaced, so we're having one last look at her before saying goodbye. So in this video, we'll walk through what we did. Uh, <laughs> externally, we had her panel beaten, de-rusted, re-sprayed, changed the light fittings, added tinted windows and decals, and after a catastrophic attempt to do it ourselves, had the rear window tinted. The fuel cap had rusted to the point that it was unsalvageable, so that was replaced and we put on a sticker bomb decal. Let's take a look. This is her opened up. We had issues with the side door, it needed a whole new mechanism and got dropped a little bit. And the rear door needed some faffing to get it to open. The bulkhead was welded in so we removed that with the angle grinder and smoothed it out using a Dremel. In the cab we added this basket to hold drinks because the one in the glove box is a bit rubbish. We removed the double seat and added a captain's chair and fitted seat covers so it looks pretty. This is dash cam, it's fitted to the rear view mirror and it's got a reversing camera in the back, it's very handy. This is a new radio with uh, a media and USB port. We put on a gear stick extender with an 8 ball and added fitted carpets. We put in swivel seat bases with storage and a safe under the driver's seat. And now let's have a look in the rear. This is fully carpet lined and triple insulated with sheep's wool and therma wrap. That's the kitchen, we'll have a look at that in a minute. These are the seats, they pull out and together with the table they make a three quarter bed with storage underneath. I will insert a photo. This is one of the custom bulkhead pillar trims and a bit of homemade trim across the roof. You can also see that there's a sunroof in the cab. It's very nice. We have strip lighting on both sides and two down lights that you can't see very well, so I'll insert another photo. The floor is industrial grade wood effect, so it's very sturdy and hard wearing, which is really handy. It doesn't scratch, it's nice. Ignore the cleaning supplies. We stick a bomb the hell out of the table, which was a charity shop find. And we'll now look at the kitchen and wardrobe. This is an off-the-shelf kitchen unit that we've modified. It has two double cupboards with shelves. The countertop's hinged and raises up with a sink and two ring hob underneath. We use a simple hook to hold up the heat resistant top which also prevents the carpet line from catching fire. It can also be lowered while the rings are hot to make the surface safe. This is the storage unit, for want of a better word which has three shelves, a rigid front with holes cut in it to give access without things falling out. At the rear there's a removable panel at the bottom with a hook-up cable inside. This is where the hub is wired in for the solar panel and the lighting. The solar panel is stored down here between the storage unit and the rear door, held in place by a bungee cable you can just see. In the cupboard there is a grill and the controls for the hob. This is also lined with heat resistant sheeting and you can see the gas bottle in the bottom. So now you've had your tour, here's us building her from start to finish. 